we're about to get ready to go Grand Stock Racing here for this one. And I hope you guys are ready because I'm ready too. It is going to be a magnificent race here tonight. I don't know if Pit Strategy is going to come into play in this race as it did almost in the truck race at the end of that one. If you guys didn't catch that, there's a few guys pitting at the end of that race. I'm not sure if it's going to happen in this one. But we'll see. But we have a few drivers running those that next tail scheme you see right there. Uh, Row hits running one, uh, the six. That's a bit a uh, tribute to the drivers that were in the chase in 2004. If you guys don't remember that. But anyway, we're about to get hard hitting into the wall action here at Dover. At Dover. <laughs> here at Darlington. Don't mind me failing because that is what I do on a daily basis. And we are going to get you to the green flag as we have three Dodges in the top five. We have a Chevrolet and a Ford in the top five as well. Watch out for Charles Sanford because he is running Taco Bell. And I tell you, he will be one to watch here today because he is really good at these type of racetracks. For the first time I tried to record this, we had a little bit of technical sound issues. But this is the second time. So we'll see what happens this time. Under the lights here, first night race of the season. If you're about to get crazy, and yeah, it's really, it's really about to get crazy right now. Look at the run Charles Sanford got. It's gonna be all over that 12 on this on this restart here on the initial start. But watch out! Watch out for that. What I want to tell you is watch out for that wall because it really could come and bite you here. Oh, and it's about to do that to the 49 as he's getting close to it. The 41 was just into it. Oh, they're going to almost hit it right there. Come out the corner. Which, uh, I'm telling you, watch Charles Sanford. He's catching uh, Chris Jones. Oh, oh, oh. Seth almost got the wall. They're going three wide in the back right there. Yeah, Charles Sanford is catching that 12 car right now. Roll hits right behind him. But uh, coming to the line, gonna lead lap three. He's led most all three laps so far in this one. Oh, oh, and the 97 is gonna get run up on the 49. Oh, boy. Ooh. Oh, and he's gonna smack the wall. Luckily, nobody was close to him. But like I said, watch out for Charles Sanford today. This race could really blend into effect for him going down. Oh, and the caution's out. Oh my god, and we had a mess. <laughs> like I said, we ran the first few laps under green, and then the caution comes out. Here you go. This Chris Jones is going to lead him back to the caution flag, but I've seen Jake Rogers, the uh, Indianapolis winner, was involved. He's still stuck over there. Oh my god. Okay. I didn't think they got rid of his car, but uh, as Chris Jones is leading right now in the 12th machine, we will take you to what happened. Right here, I don't know if James Qualls was, I don't know if he was trying to block the run by Cole Daly in the 88, but he goes down here and he's trying to make a three wide pass. He's using too much of that grip here at Darlington. I don't know why you're using that much grip, James. Oh, and he just cuts right up in front and wrecks like. Je Jeffrey Buckeye, Jessica Shelton, uh, De oh, Dylan Young, top five in the points is involved. His consistency ends right there, missing rack. Dylan Pochi was scraping the wall to miss that, but he really didn't get that much damage. He actually got turned in the wall a little bit. But he actually does have a lot of damage to the, uh, to the side of that Rockwell Chevy, so... It's a tough break for uh, Dylan Young, but we'll back it up one more time and take a different look. But I don't, I really don't know what James Claus is doing. Uh, one lucky guy out of that was uh, Chris uh, Washer. I believe he he missed that. There's James Claus. That there he is right there. And I watch this. Watch he's trying to make a move and he doesn't know how much grip he has. And then he doesn't know how he's going so fast that he cuts right back up in front. And Jessica Shelton 
Oh, the uh, the 38 of, uh, I don't know who that is. Oh, Anthony McCurry might have gotten involved. No, that was Danny Wells fail. Um, but there's the 40. He's uh, stuck up on his side. The 84, Dylan Young got turned up in the wall. The 99's down there. Actually, he got through it. Dylan Pote got through it. But James Claus might have got the least end of that. And uh, a lot of drivers not going to be too happy with him, especially Jeffrey Buckeye and a few other guys, the 88 and the 40. But Charles Sanford on the fail. But Chris Jones will have to leave. We'll take you back to green. Who yeah. yup, boy? We got two cars out of the race in the 33. I really didn't even see him involved in anything last week's winner, and he is out of the race. And, uh, and Jeffrey Buckeye. The guys that finished 1 2 last week are the first two to be out of the race. But anyway, Charles Sanford going to try to get a pounce here on the restart. Oh, and I'll tell you one guy that got a pounce. Goodness sakes, that 01 of uh, Kurt Morton. If he's trying to get back up the form. The way he was the first three races. Oh, oh, and they're about to go three wide. Don't do it. Oh. They almost wrecked again, but Charles Sanford, he's trying to get that run, but he just cannot get to the 12 right now. He might have it going down in this corner. He has a run, he just can't do nothing with it. And there's Cody Lamas. Look at him. He's going. Past the 31, the, oh, the two almost wrecked. He's having some wrecks in the back again. Oh, Charles Sanford up against the wall, and he, lose, he lost the second spot. And he's losing, yeah, he's losing a whole bunch on the outside line. Chris Jones is just dominating right now. Oh, and the one just smashed the wall. There's Dylan Young on pit road. Uh, probably after this lap, we'll uh, go through the field for you. Take a look at some drivers that are struggling here today. As Chris Jones is running very superb here today. But that, uh, that, that 49 is trying to cut into his lead right here. But uh, we'll take you through the field right now as we'll start through the back with Dylan Young. Dylan Young comes into this race in the top five, in the points. But this is a very big struggle for him after getting involved in that first rack, so it's not what he uh, needed. Not what anybody needed. There's uh, the, there's uh, John McNamara and there's a few other guys back here. This, uh, Eric Burton, he is struggling here. Oh, there's a rack! Oh, Seth Cohen, it's a big one. Oh, and it's going to be a mess. Oh, Jess. Flipping. LJ Mills. Who? Oh, somebody's still wrecking. The 38. Oh, my God. And Seth was at the front of the... Oh, and they're still wrecking. Slow down, slow down. Don't hit them. Don't. Oh. Sean just wrecked. I don't know who just wrecked him, but holy crap. Michael wrecked. Jake Cole wrecked. Who is that? Uh, Danny Wells wrecked. Uh, Tim Walsh wrecked. There's Zach Landers wrecked. Uh, Chris Jones. And here's the whole field pitting now. This plays into effect. Uh, look at that. We went through the field and everybody has just wrecked. Everybody, the, the 20 is wrecked, the 99 is wrecked, the, the 45 is wrecked, the 24 is wrecked, Michael Norman's wrecked, Sky Common's top, top up in there in the points, he's top 10 in the points, he's wrecked, and this could help Dylan Young, Dylan Young, this guy right here, he went a lap down and, and he could actually get back on here. If he could stay out here and not go back down a lap. But as you see pit stops going on, we're going to have to go through everything that just happened. 
and Charles Sanford is stuck not had a great pit stop and he lost way too much track position that's definitely not what he wanted the 01 is actually trying to pass the 12 but anyway let's uh, take you to what happened well guys a lot of guys are not going to be happy about this and Sky, he has his teammate right there and he forced it in a three wide situation. And then he goes right here and he is going to just take out Seth right there. Hard hit for Seth. And Seth's going to spin right back up on the track. There's the 18, the 21, nowhere to go. Eric Burton, the nine's involved. The Dylan Poteet involved, Michael Norman's involved, the 99's involved, the 20's involved, the 38's involved, the 7's involved, the 45's involved, the 17 somehow missed that, the 18 and 29's involved, LJ Mills is flipping, the 88 missed it somehow. But look at all those injured cars involved. There's a 0. There's a 41. I'll back it up one more time. clearly see what just happened right there he just he, yep, he just got taken out and then, then he comes back and gets Sky right there and then they're there by us 10 and then catch him ball 24 the 77 flip in the, the 20 the 7 it's just hell on wheels right here the 17 is going to hit hard into the wall up there and it's just a junkyard the sevens down there uh, the 77 the 18 was flipping the 48s down there the 24 99 still a junkyard but there was something else that happened up front looks like under caution looks like everybody wants to wreck each other because Sean goes up and nudges the double zero in the wall and then still puts him in the wall and then the 15 comes he gets involved, and then the two gets involved, Kyle Thomas, and then I don't think anybody else ran into him. The ten almost ran into him, but he did, he did a hell of a job to miss it. Right there, oh, and the twenty-one almost hit him, but he was already involved in the first part. But anyway, a big, huge accident over here with people taking out each other. And that was a bit uncalled for. I don't know what NASCAR is going to feel about that, but we'll take it back to the uh, pitch, the uh, green flag. As you can look, look at the list of the cars out. The 45, Jessica Shelton. Uh, 7, Zach Landers. 38, John McNamara. 99, Franklin Tire. 0, Dylan Pote. 48 Eric Burton, 18 LJ Mills, 77 Sky Commons, 24 Michael Norman, 20 Zach Buchanan, 41 Seth Cole, and 15 Tim Walsh. That list of guys are out of the race. I don't know if the 25 is up to speed, but he's going to have to fight off that 12 and that 49 because they have been the class of the field all day. Oh my god, and there's going to be problems here trying to get by these guys. But the 12 actually did get held up, but he didn't get held up enough to not keep going. The 31 has a lot of damage. Here comes here comes Nicholas Garrett, though, and Rohit. They're trying to make moves. Because this race is really, really going fast, and the 12 is out in front right now. Chris Jones trying to hold on to that lead right now. Boy, is he... Hungry for this first win, man. Here in the Cup Series. But that guy is too. And this guy is as well. Two of these guys up here are rookies. Rohit. But Cody Lamas, look at him. He is fast as well. Oh, caution's out. Oh, oh and Joshua Collier is spinning. And Dylan Young has something to do with it. 
those two have had their problems in the and before last year's all-star race they had problems and now they have problems again and this is gonna play an effect in Chris Jones who has dominated this whole race who could lose it right here on another restart let's take a look at what happened well uh, well Josh is definitely not gonna be happy Dylan Young gets in the wall and watch what happens boom and then Dylan Young is going to hit the wall hard but Josh that was a hard hit right there man when the 25 got up into the wall Dylan Young he had he had zero reaction to uh, know what to do there let's ride on board with him he's riding behind Pichu London in the Fantastic Four machine And he's, he's just gonna just slide and know his day is done because his motor just got killed. Tough break for Joshua Collar running in the 11th spot. Another good day goes for not for that 43 team to get a green flag. Let's yeah. restart. <laughs> But anyway, the 49 and the 16, these guys are really going to have to make some noise because this, this 12 car has just been having their number all race long. And he still had their number because they are, they, they're just racing each other. They need to race him. I mean, like, these guys are not going anywhere racing each other. 49 knows he has the best car. But maybe if they keep it under green, maybe some of these guys will show up. And there's Anthony McCurry, the points leader. And I'm saying they're going to stay green. Did I just say they're going to stay green? Did I just say that? Did I just say they're going to stay green? Did I just say that? Yes, I did. And then, oh my God. I just said they were going to stay green. And, they come, and they're going to have a one-lap shootout. Did I just say that? And... There's going to be a few guys. Oh, the leader's going to be coming up in here. Oh, my God. Here he comes. Oh, don't hit him. Look at that. I think they already passed him. It's actually, it was actually in the third corner. And the old one actually got a big piece of that along with Cole Dowling. Oh, there's the leader right there. I don't know if he's going to have to hit or not. But uh, it's probably going to be a one lap shoot out here. Let's take it to what just happened. So watch, uh, watch Sean and his teammate right here. He's gonna, uh, him, and the, him and the 97 are going to get together. And then, I don't know if this is retaliation or what, but Sean cuts right back up in front of him and wrecks everybody. And then, I don't know, his teammate, his teammate in the 17 car did that earlier in the race. I don't know what's up with the Roush car doing that. And then, actually, oh, and then the 10 ran right in the back of Charles Sanford. That's what happens when you get in the back. Charles Sanford had a chance to win this race early in the race, but went from bad to worse. Like I said, the uh, the then uh, twenty uh, ninety-seven got up in the wall. You see what happened right there? It goes down in the in the Sean Henley, and Sean is not gonna appreciate that. He's gonna come back up, and he's gonna nudge the ninety-seven in recto field. So. And, <laughs> And he flipped the 97. Wow. And oh, and Anthony McCurry, the points leader, got involved. He was, he's pretty much no show all day today. And then Dylan Young, dodging wrecks. So is Jake Rogers. That's like the fourth wreck of the day. Well, I'll take a patch of green. Well, even. Well, guys, I really think the 12, the 12 is, you know, 
I don't know if he gets a good restart this time. This race is over. Yes, he is. Oh, 49. Just, oh, he got a good restart. Here he comes. 49 to the inside. Here he got a great restart. Here comes the 49. Final restart. And here comes Trent Dunham. Oh, Trent's going to get turned in the wall. But 49 got this. Big wreck at the end of the race. Oh, no. Holy shit. Oh, crap. That's the 49, the rookie. He's going to come. He's going to win here at Darlington. What in the world happened to the 12 on that restart? I had no idea what just happened to him. But he lost everything. He was running in the first spot. And lost it. Lost it all right there, man. I really don't know what happened there. But the 49 is going to... Wow. Nobody has gotten good restarts all day. And then... And then... And then on the... What is the pace car doing? Yeah, you had to scrape the wall pace car. That's the most action you're going to get all day. But anyway. The 49 and the 31. They come out of nowhere to finish 1-2. As everybody else was wrecking on the first the final lap. Holy crap, what a finish to this race. The, t the 12 had that race, and he freaking let the 49 get to the inside and won the restart. Well, let's take a look at what happened to bring this car to now. You see, on the, re on the restart here, the 49 has got the best restart that he has gotten all day long. And he will pass Chris Jones. And then the 42 is trying to get up there. And he clips the 42. And then Preston Ploy is going to hit the 42. He's going to go down into the wall. And the 42 is spinning. And, the, um, and I believe that was... No, somebody... Oh, yep. Somebody ran into... That was James Qualls ran into the back of the nine. And then... That's what ended it all right there, and then a few of these guys are running up into each other. And then a few of these guys were like, the, the 12 was rubbing the wall. He, once he got up in the wall, he kept going up in the wall. And man, what, 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 I do not know how to even explain this right now. We'll take one more look at this. But, uh, Wreck on the final lap of the race, on the final restart, green, green, white, checker, wide, if you, if I may say. Watch this shit, man. I mean, like, Trent had him cleared, but the 12 moved right down and caught him at the end, and then 23 hits him. And then, there goes the 9. And here comes the 17. He's going to run right in the back of the 9. <laughs> and take, uh, almost take the 40 out of the 42 out again. But the, the winner from that was the 49. And the 31, the Playboy car almost won. <laughs> and Cody almost had a great shot at winning, but he got almost caught up in that. But the Trojan car will come in second. And we will take you to your official results after this. This race, this race almost had like six or five cautions. Wreck fast, boy. Oh, well, guys, the 49 and the 31. We barely talked. We barely talked about the 31, but the 49. He had his final chance on the restart, and the, when the 12 did not go, he took a took complete advantage of that and passed him. And that wreck at the end happen and there you see everybody how about how about uh how about Pichu London Justin Perry Eugene Demax Chris Washer with a top 10 he's finished top 10 in all three of the races this week Kenny Bell Charles Sanford James Qualls came actually came back 
J. Cole, Trent Dunham actually still gets the top 15. Danny Wells. Dylan Young actually came back. He was a lap down, but from early in the race, it could have been worse for him. But he gets the top 20 with Anthony McCurry. He finished in front of Anthony McCurry, who wrecked. And there's everybody else. Jake Rogers did okay as well. But here's the list of the drivers out of the race. Kirk Mortenick, Anthony McCurry, Cole Daly, Sean Henley, Rohit Vaderview, Joshua Collier, Tim Wall, Seth Cole, Zachary Cannon, Michael Norman, Sky Comets, LJ Mills, Eric Burton, Dylan Poteet, Levi Mickling, Tyre, John McNamara, Zach Landers, Jessica Shelton, Daniel Day, Jeffrey Buckeye. Man, what a what a day to end off this week. And we'll go to another track, which is controversial as well. That's Quarter Slammer. A lot of guys not going to be too happy after this race, but a lot not going to be happy after next week either. Well, we'll see you later. Yeah.